I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Roman Real Style. Today, we're going to be talking about a man who is asking a little bit too much of his clothing. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like this or you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it down below. And last but not least, remember, I've got a great free 47-page ebook. The link to it is right down there. Okay, this is the question that came in. Antonio, thank you for all of your emails and videos. You are welcome, sir. My dressing has improved so much and people seem to com compliment me a lot more these days for looking dapper. I really appreciate all your help. My question is, I'm looking to get a good pair of black shoes that I can use for work and for dinners. I need them to be comfortable because I'll be spending a lot of time at work, but they should also be classy because I'm going to be wearing them out to dinners, weddings, and I would like to be able to wear them to more casual events as well. Do you have any idea on what I should be looking for? All right. Well, the gentleman, in my opinion, he's asking too much from one pair of shoes. And let me use the analogy of vehicles. Um, I'm a motorcycle. I used to be a motorcyclist. I've ridden my bike all over the place. And I loved my bike. But whenever I traveled to India, I saw people doing things on motorcycles that I didn't know could be done. Literally, I would see like a family of five on a motorcycle stacked up and it would just just blew me away. <laughs> and this, this is like a little like 75 cc bike and it's got, yeah, they've got just kids on the front bars, one kid held. I mean, in any case, they were doing more than I thought a motorcycle should safely be able to do. Now, they were getting it done. It was working, but I had my reservations of the safety of, uh, you know, having a family of five on a motorcycle. And I'm going to, so let me go back to shoes here. You're asking too much from one pair of shoes and because what you're going to have to do in order for it to be both comfortable and dressy, you're going to need to go for a well-fitted pair of probably, I, I would say Oxfords, but they're never going to be casual enough to wear with jeans. So you've got, it's just, you're not going to be able to take them down, down that low. And it sounds like you would be just wearing these and wearing these and you're going to eventually, you know, not, you need to be rotating through shoes. And I would say any well-dressed man should have three pairs of nice dress shoes. So at the higher end, you're going to want your pair of Balmoral Oxfords. You can also, you know, if you don't wear suits very often, you can look to bring in a pair of bluchers. But I would go with the Oxfords because those are going to have closed lacings and are always going to be appropriate for a suit. And you just want to have something at the higher end level. Now, in the medium level, you can start to bring in a dark brown. You can even have a black and you can look at a blue shoe. You can go with a little bit of a cap toe or perhaps even go with a little broguing, which is the design, the ordinate design in the, uh, the carvings and the leather. You can even go with a really nice slip on or maybe a Chelsea boot. And then at the lower end, which is still going to be a pretty dressy shoe, but you can then start to bring in any type of casual leather uh, Le leather shoe that's not a sports shoe, but is something that, that fits you well, is very comfortable. I actually own a pair of Echoes. I know they don't get, get always the best wrap, but I love them simply because they're incredibly waterproof. They're not water resistant. These things are waterproof. And here in Wisconsin, when I'm going through the slush, I just slip those things on. Yes, they're not as dressy looking, and I probably could go with galoshes, but when it comes to doing things around here in this small town, these shoes are plenty and they still look dressier and they perform better than any type of running shoe and they're a lot easier to put on than any type of uh, work boot. Okay, so the point again is that don't ask too much. Nowadays that I have a family of five, I own, I don't have my motorcycle anymore, but if I did, I would still, oh, I, I wish I had my Sprint ST Triumph, beautiful bike. Man, I've got, ah, I've got my truck and we've got a minivan because those two vehicles suit our family's needs. And with you, think about that with your shoes. I realize that you may have to bring down the price on, you know, if you could only afford one pair of $300 shoes, I would say starting off, you know, maybe look to pull back on the price and, you know, start with, there, there are reasonable shoes in the 50 to the $100 range. And if you can't even afford that, then go look for secondhand thrift, uh, thrift stores. Find a pair of uh, shoes that you can get for a few bucks that has been gently worn. All right, this has been Antonio Centeno with Real Men Real Style. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.